Hi guys, um, welcome to the recap of episode four and five of My Hero Academia, Strategy, 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 and Cavalry Battle Final. That was a tongue twister. Yeah, those, yeah. Yeah, I'm your host, Kitty Vanyas. And I'm Max Schooley. Sorry, Jay, you weren't here. We had to do this. I'm on a schedule. Yep, fuck you, Jay. <laughs> we love you, Jay. But uh, to uh, get get on this story, um, let's just jump in. Uh, where we left off is you find out Midoriya is worth one, is it 10 million or 1 million? He's worth 10 million 10 points. 10 million points for the cavalry battle. And the cavalry battle is um, you have a rider, you have two or three people carrying that rider, yep. and they have the points on yep. them. The rider has the points... Their team's total points is written on a headband and put on the rider's head. So the whole point of this cavalry battle is steal other team's points, and then you're totaled up with your team points collective with the other teams you steal. And I also think it's very interesting in this episode, uh, the minor heroes that are guarding the UA Sports Festival explain why the cavalry battle is so important. Yeah. It shows that, like you have to be able to work with different heroes on the fly. Yeah, it kind of, it explains more of the real world, like, yeah, heroes fight on their own, but at the same time, you're also thrown into teams, and not just your sidekick like somebody you've been with for a while. It has to be other people, just like when yeah. you see Bakugo is being saved, there's multiple heroes from different agencies working together. Yeah, it's, yeah. So I think that, I think in general, like, this is opening up what the world of hero is like, in My Hero Academia. Uh, so, just to start out with, so they explain what a cavalry battle is, and nobody wants to join Deku. Like, he's like, they're all avoiding me because I'm worth so many points, and like, if they take me out, they can get the points. The only person that wants to join him right away is Urachaka. And she's like, yeah, let's do it! Woo! Yeah. She's like, yay, friends! My and then, somebody you know! Crazy Mai Hatsumi, the support girl, is like, Hey, you have a million points, so that means you'll shine, so you can show off my babies. Yeah, she basically, she never wants to be a true hero. She wants to be the support of all supports. Yeah, and that's another thing you find out about heroes. Heroes use technology. Oh, yeah. That aren't, like, you know. That's not straight from their quirk. Yeah. They use stuff along with like it. Like jetpacks and... Like jet, like propulsion shoes and things like that. Yeah, or things like even a racer head's helmet. Yeah, is goggles, goggles or whatever. Yeah, yeah, because it hides his eyes. It hides his eyes, and yeah, they're all little technology things, and it it brings out the realization of that. So like Deku is like, um, all right, fine, okay, I have one more, and I know who I'm gonna choose. And he goes to Ida, and he tells Ida this plan. He's like, so okay, so we're gonna use Okuchaka's. Uh, gravity powers to make us lighter so we can run faster and like Ida you'll be the main because like you know your speed your speed and maneuverability you'll help with fleeing and Ida like is like that's a very good strategy fuck you but no <laughs> he ends up joining Todoroki's team uh, because and it's a very reasonable thing like oh, yeah. it sucks that like Ida is not with Deku because like from season one they were tight. They're, yeah. they're, I mean, they're friends still, obviously. Yeah, Ida even says, even though we're still great friends, I want to beat you. I want to be stronger. Me. Like, everyone else is sending their declaration against you. Yeah. And he's like, it's my turn. Like, I can't be in your shadow all the time. Like, I like you. You are my friend. But I cannot be in your shadow. Yeah, I have to fight too. So, um, that sucks. So... Deku then has asked Tokuyami, who is this, the crow kid, with the fucking shadow power that's awesome as shit. Basically a sentient shadow inside of his... He's like a two-man army, and yeah. the shadow talks. The shadow is basically a parrot. Parrot crow <laughs> thing. Yeah. And so, you get the teams that are set up. It's Deku, Uraraka, Hatsumi, and Tokuyami. Bakugo... Saro, the tape guy, Max's girl, the slug girl Ashida, 
and Kirishima, which is a funny, like, conversation between Kirishima and Bakugo. Like, Bakugo knows no one's name. Yup. He's like, elbow guy. Elbow guy. Slug Slug girl. girl. (laughs) Funny hair. Yeah. He's like... He doesn't... Give a shit. He has reached the point of, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to be the best. None of you really matter that much to me. You just make me look good. Yeah. Todoroki... Momo, who is who's used as support, Kaminara, who is also used as support, and Ida, who is going to be the head of their horse. So, and then we go with uh, Mina. There's a funny conversation between Minato, the pervy kid, and Shoji, the eight arm guy. He's like, "No girl wants to join my team, and they don't want me on top of them because I'm creepy, and I'm not big enough to actually be a carrier." And then, <laughs> then his arm shows up. He's like, "That's a great idea." I'm like, "What, really? Yeah, that's just, your choice." He's like, "Because I'm so small, you can hide me in your tentacles." And he's like. Holy fuck. That this works. is perfect. Yeah. So, and then what you what you realize basically 1A is teaming up with 1A. Yeah, a lot and of them 1B are teaming up with cuz they're not like they don't trust the other. Yeah, classes. and they don't know each other either. Besides 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 Hatsume. Like Hatsume is like I can win. I can I can show off my baby, so let's do yeah, this. Yeah, and she's part of support. She's not 1B. Yeah, she's so, support. So yeah. Which then leads to, we're just going to talk with class 1B. I know there's a few 1A students, but they we're going to talk about them later. Tetsu, 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 and the only other person that's prominent with his powers is Juzo Hanuku, who looks like a titan. Yeah. It's the titan kid. Yeah. I'm just going to go with He looks like a titan, titan from yeah. Attack on Titan. And Niato Manoma and Kaisi Chirubura are the only two that, like, really get, like... You know. Yeah, they really show off their powers. Show off their powers. So they're the only ones I'm going to say. Plus, it's really fucking hard to pronounce Japanese names. You know how many people, like, bitch at me for saying Japanese names at all? But, yeah. So those are basically the main 1B characters who are shown off. Yeah. So, um... The other 1A teammates are actually mind-controlled by Hitachi Shinoso, the fucking emo purple haired looking guy yeah the one who looks like he's basically half conscious all yeah. the time anyways and so the cavalry battle starts and this is where you find out the sheer difference between class 1a and class 1b yeah class 1a is all going after deku yep they're they don't give a fuck they're just like i want the million points yep and so they're just boom boom they're all after deku and deku Smart enough with the strategy is is able to maneuver away uh-huh. until until Minoto shows up with his sticky balls and yeah. Sue, which destroys one of their uh, landing gear, which puts them in a situation where they can't do as much as they were able to. Yeah, they're not quite as mobile anymore. Yeah. Which leads to Bakugo doing the most badass thing ever. He jumps off of it and then just flies up and tries to grab. Yeah, he, the headband, and everyone's like, "Is that legal?" And Midnight's like, "He landed on his horse. I'll allow it." And I'm like, "Oh, fuck you!" Right. Basically, he just fucking fled his entire team, flew around like fucking Bakugo does, and was a douchebag. Yeah. And but still could do cool it. Cool Bakugo. Yeah. Cool. It looked awesome. Yeah. He's getting better control of it. Like that's what you notice. Like. Yeah. Like he he's basically able to fly now with his power. Yeah. And then, but what you end up finding out, though, is that Class 1B had a different strategy altogether. Yeah. Instead of going after Deku, because they're like, what's the point? Like, you guys are going to just go after him. You guys are going to keep yourself open, because you're not going to attack us. Yeah, you're not even paying attention so to us. So they are going after everyone else. Yeah, Class 1B has not actually said it, but the whole plan was sit just low enough that they're not noticed in the race... Mm-hmm. So they all make it, and then they're just gonna steal points. Only from a 1A. few, a few of the t- class A, class one B teams did it. I don't think Tetsu 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 did. No, Tetsu Tetsu Tetsu's kind of an idiot though. Yeah, he's just kind of like I want everything. He is very much. I feel like he's very much Bakuga of class one B, B, but not as like not as douchebaggy. Not or, as cool. Like not. Yeah, not as, his power isn't as versatile as Bakuga's. No. But, like, he has that same mentality of, I'm just going to be top, I'm going to win, kind of thing. To be, okay, and so, uh, 
Tetsu 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 uses his friend's power, which is um, fucking melting the ground to try to get Deku away. Yeah, basically but, the ground turns into yeah. quicksand. But Deku uses the jetpack to get away. Now, what happens now is that um, Nieto Monoma is like, you guys suck. Like, I'm going to win, and it's because you guys didn't pay attention. Right. So this fuels Bakuga's rage. Like, and everyone sees it. They're like, oh, shit. He's like, before we go after Deku, I'm going to murder everyone else. And they're like, maybe you shouldn't say murder. Right. This they're is all... probably not a good, like, that's borderline villain there, Bakuga. I feel like he's going to end up being not a villain, but definitely but not a fucking good guy Super either. anti-hero. Like, he's the Vegeta. Yeah. Like, if there's if there's nomenclatures, Deku is Goku, Bakugo is Vegeta, and Todoroku is Piccolo. Yep. So. Yep. <laughs> Ida is fucking Yamcha. Yamcha. No! Just, I want to say that Ida's going to end up being Yamcha, and, like, he's going to be good for a while... And, and then just be lackluster. I don't know. See, but like that's where I think. Um, I think like like a lot of the girls are gonna be like super shine on next. Like hopefully, possibly. Yeah, but like back to what we were saying. So, Bakuga goes on a rampage, and now his only goal is to take down Monoma, which you find out Monoma has the ability to copy people's quirks. Yeah, he has for only five minutes. But, I mean, that's super reliable. The person he touches, he can copy their quirk, limited to one quirk, which they kind of hinted at that he might be able to do two, but limited to one quirk, they say, and he can only hold it for five minutes. Yeah, and so, boom, I like your, he takes Bakuga's power. I like your power. Then Bakuga tries to smash at him again, and ta he takes Kirishima's hardening power. He's like, ha, bitch. Yeah. So Bakuga is getting just fucking frustrated. Pissed. He's just, fucking pissed. he's like, Fine, whatever, let's do this. And he jumps off again. Yep. <laughs> blasting his way to it, stealing all of their headbands, and then Sero grabs him and he's like, Thanks, tape guy. He's like, I have a name. <laughs> and just Bakugo, like I think every one of um every one of Midoriya's rivals gets a chance to shine. Yeah, definitely. That is the one thing that I like about this. Because after all of this bullshit is going on, Todoroki has cornered Deku's team. And you find out that Kishimaro's power of a light lightning, it was, it's basically light, so it weakens Tokiyama's power. Yeah. Uh, his his, his, uh, his, his shadow, shadow. Because the more sunlight, the weaker it is. Yeah. And so... There is just a battle. It's a battle of just... It's a battle of wits, basically. Yeah, because, what, at this point in time, there's three minutes left? Yeah, there's three minutes left, and Deku's like, I can... Deku is... This is the second time... Before we go into what happens next, Ida is like, I have one chance to do this. His own technique that no one knew. Yeah. Which is smart. Like, I will give him that. That is smart as shit. He's yeah. like... It will put me out of commission, but it'll work. So what happens is that Ida puts all of his energy in his legs and blasts and allows Todoroki to take the one million. Deku is like, oh no, oh shit, oh shit, oh no, oh shit. So their goal is like, he put, he, they, they imply that Todoroki put it on his neck. It's the Blast. last one. So It'd be on they, top. So they try, so they try their hardest to do it to like they're they're battling for the points and it's just everyone is throwing all their out like kumarama is like full-on retard now because of all the electricity he's used yeah like uh toria Tor tokiomi's shadow is like dwindling yeah and like deku goes in an all-out thing using his all for one in his entire arm and you f see todoroki accidentally using his fire because he he's like what? And then whoosh, blows the fire away, takes the headband, finds out it's just a 44 point headband. Mm -hmm. And he's like, no. And Todoroki's just sitting there like all like in stun. He's like, I, I used the fire. In yeah. And, like, because I was in a corner, like I couldn't do anything. Yeah. Else. It was pure instinct. Like, like Todoroki has made a promise to himself in 
battle to never use his fire. To just say fuck you to his dad endeavor. Yeah. Like it and it's really it really hits you. It really hits him because he's just like, I hate this power. Mm -hmm. And the fact that I had to rely on it because of this guy who is basically – because he sees Deku as All Might. Yeah, he sees Deku as All Might. He he doesn't know he has All Might's power, but he knows that There's All Might is training him. De yeah. So we get to the end, and Deku is just beat. He's like, I we didn't get the points. And Tokiyami is like – that bitch actually took one of them. Like, yeah. And so they are made it to fourth place. And so as they're explaining it, Todoroki's team made it. Bakuga's team made it. And they're like, Tetsu, Tetsu. Oh, it's not Tetsu, Tetsu, Tetsu. It's actually... Um, fucking mind control guy. Yeah. Fucking I don't remember his name at the moment. Shinsu. Shinsu. Yeah. It's mind control. Just, I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> and then Deku's team. Tetsu, Tetsu, Tetsu is really confused what happened. He's like, I Wait. thought we were winning. What? Yeah, what is... he's like sitting there looking around like, Ugh. Just in awe. And then you see, you see uh, fucking Shinso just walking away and everybody's mind control is just laying there like, what the fuck happened? Like just all confused. Yep. And you see Deku, because this becomes relevant at the end of the episode, Deku crying a puddle. <laughs> this is like a tower of tears. It's... In the TV show, it doesn't make it obvious, but if you look, he, the power was strong enough that his feet went into the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, he's just so emotional he, that he's happy. just, like, they just portrayed it as, like, he's so emotional, yeah. he shot himself into the ground. Yes. Yeah. So, and then what happens next is, like, everyone's excited, and then Todoroki brings Deku into a small room in the back. Yeah. While at the same time... All Might and Endeavor meet up, and you you see you see the correlation that's about to go on. Like, yeah, it's the father son motif. Yeah, you kind of see like All Might and Endeavor, like their quarrel is going to be portrayed very much so in Deku, and but in a very different way. It's going to be different because this All Might and Endeavor is very much of a rivalry, and Deku and to Todoroki, Todoroki. Theirs is going to be more... Try to prove themselves. Yeah, they're going to prove themselves One to wants to other. prove he's better than his dad, and the other one wants to prove he's as good as All Might. Yeah. So as his mentor. They're going to be quarreling together to further themselves, where the older two are basically just like, being... Like, ah, fuck you. Or, yeah, basically that. So, and then, and then it ends with Deku's mom... This is why it's relevant. Deku's mom is crying just like Deku. Yeah, tears after Deku just wins. Yeah, literal fountains coming out of her face. And for season two, these two episodes were my favorite so far. I'm I'm like, very proud of them. Like, they're great. They are they're well animated. They are just awesome though. Like yeah, it really, it's like, it's a shonen battle. It was a shonen battle tournament arc like that small little piece yeah but without like the legitimate like shonen like that's why i like it yeah like when you can take the shonen tournament arc and flip it on its head but still keep it keep the keep the heart of what it is it's fucking amazing it was great it, i loved it I, i'm loving this this season whole, yeah this whole tournament of things that they're going on i'm yeah. gonna enjoy it greatly season two is just it's blowing season like and it's hard to blow season one out of the water because season one was really good. Season one was a lot more heartfelt, I yeah. feel. This one is more um, progressive. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're shining a light. Like, season one was Deku's story. Yeah. Like, it was just Deku and Bakuga's, if if we're going with it. It's Deku and Bakuga's story. Yeah, very much Season so. two is Deku and Todoroki's story. Yeah. And Bakuga's in the back. Like, like I said, it's like, it's, it's because... I watch DBZ as my first battle shonen. I correlate that. Yeah. Like, these characters, hopefully unlike DBZ, will still get a chance to shine. Hopefully. Even after, you know, like, Deku's obviously the main character. Obviously. It even says it in the title, this yeah. is my story becoming the world's, world's greatest, greatest hero. hero. But, to but I feel like Ida, Urachaka, Todoroki, and Bakuga are all going to be an They're impact... 
they're all gonna make something. I mean, they're all an impact in the story. Like, oh, yeah. Bakuga definitely is an impact. Without Bakuga, like, he would not be where he's at. No, hell no. So, hopefully Todoroki becomes that same kind of thing to... To Deku. Midoriya. Yeah. I hope so. So, that was a recap of episode four and five. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And... Like, share, and subscribe. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.